on September 13, 2020, uh, to the very city council public hearing meeting on the budget to order. Uh, Charter school sold out, waiting list full, uh, and doing very well uh, in our community. Our seaplane manufacturing facilities and our seaplane flight training facilities all doing well, coming back, selling airplanes, doing a lot of flight training. Our industrial park is now sold out. We had some spec buildings out there, they're all gone. Our hospital and surgical centers are all back fully staffed and, and doing the elective surgeries and the necessary surgeries that were on hold for a while. For those of you who have been to the big house recently, incredible. I am there every Wednesday with my daughter doing volleyball. On the third floor, the entire baseball floor is completely sold out with hundreds of kids. On the bottom floor, all the basketball courts, and if you've been there, there's like 12 basketball courts, full. All the volleyball courts, they're a full, hundreds and hundreds of kids on a Wednesday, all coming from all over Central Florida on a midweek uh, day, going to our restaurants and things of that nature. So our businesses appear to be coming back from new businesses, new 7-Elevens, to new restaurants. But as we develop this budget, as you develop this budget, you have not taken a recovery mode approach to the budget or the tax rates. You have remained steadfast, fiscally conservative, lowering budgets and lowering the tax rates. Budgeting began at the beginning of this year. You have set the budget goals. You have held multiple workshops all throughout the spring, all throughout the summer whittling that budget and whittling that tax rate. All of the changes you have requested throughout that process are incorporated into the budget that is before you today. The result, a fiscally conservative budget and tax rates. Tiberi's proposed property tax rate is the lowest in five years. Let me repeat that. The tax rate that's before you is the lowest in five years. The tax rate has been reduced again this year as it was last year. Tavares' proposed debt service rate is the lowest in nine years. Let me repeat that. The debt service rate is the lowest in nine years. This tax rate has been reduced by 10%. The proposed budget for next year is 24.7% less than the current year. And you have in increased the reserves appropriations. Stable governments like Tiberi's provide better service to their citizens than unstable governments. The result, a good economic climate, a good economic recovery, and a good quality of life for our residents, from parks to libraries and recreation and our lakes. Tiberius has a stable, steady-as-she-goes approach to the tax rate reduction program that is working well and keeping the governmental operations stable for its citizens and its businesses. This is because Tiberius does not overreact. It reacts in a measured and conservative way by reducing tax rates and budgets steadily and incrementally. This is the budget that is before you today for adoption, and these are the two tax rates that are before you today. With that, I would like our finance director to go over the highlights of the budget after which we'll give it back to you, Mayor, for public hearing process. Lori? Okay, thank you, John. Can everyone hear me? Uh, Susie Reddington, the record, 
resolution uh, 2020-19. Oh. Getting see that. Can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can't see you. Close. Get close. <laughs> All right. Is that better? Right. Yes. Thank you. Resolution 2020-19 is for council to set the millage rate. Uh, by state law, you're required to set the millage rate first and the budget second. And I am required to set, put on the record for you the items that support the millage rate before you. Um, first, I'd like to say again that the total operating budget for the city, citywide, is $55,552,000. 953 dollars okay the budget includes a similar level of service the general fund millage rate is a decrease from 6.95 mills to 6.90 mills which is a 5.92 percent above the rollback rollback rate the debt service millage rate is 0.2932 from 0.2932 to 0.26 uh, two, three. Sorry about that. Um, increased reserve appropriations, fire assessment level funded, uh, employee raises at 2%, health co healthcare cost increases are shared by employer and employee. There are two new police officers reflected in the 2021 budget and one new firefighter position has been added. Many positions in the budget have been deferred for um, the review of the board mid-year next year. And those are some of the highlights and the agenda summary before you lists the meetings where the council has discussed the budget, including um, workshops July 1st, July 15th, July 29th, August 5th, and August 19th. And this is the first reading for Resolution 2020-19. And I give it back to you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Oden. And I have not received any requests from the audience to speak on this topic. Is there anyone who would like to speak on item one? Seeing no one wanting to speak, I'm going to close public input. Council, do you have any comments or questions? Just one comment, if I may. Mr. Jury, thank you for presenting that so well. We did have workshops. I was present at all of them. I just want to get it on the record that today is September 3rd, 2020. The audience that is present right now were invited to speak and had nothing to say. Any other comments or questions from Council? Ms. Sister? Well, <laughs> y'all know I've been, I wanted to go to the rollback break. Right? said that this four hundred thousand dollars I felt that I had found through different things two thousand no two hundred and four thousand five hundred dollars is what I think I found and I asked for help and to try to find the rest of it and I just want that to be in the record that I really wanted to go to the rollback rate this year and I still feel like we could have to follow up on the vice mayor's comment, the rollback rate would be wonderful for all. But what do we defund? The police? The fire? Do we get rid of our libraries? Do we not repave our roads? Uh, you know, we've got, we're the county seat. Do we start taxing the churches? There's so much there that it would be great. And everyone argues when we're trying to build developments and that kind of stuff. So it's a good thought. But, you know, we're, we're pretty slim as we are with the personnel and everything that, that gets done here. So, just want to put those two cents in. Thank you. Um, Mr. Singer? Yeah, I got to agree with uh, you know, the rest of the council. Of course, we would like to get the, uh, the rate as low as we possibly could. It would be great to go back to the whole back rate. But, you know, we've done everything that we can. We've had the workshops. The staff has done an amazing job on uh, Reducing it as much as we possibly can. I'm just very proud that the city of Berries has been able to reduce the rate over the past couple of years. Um, so I'm I'm happy with this budget. I wish it could be lower, but it's it's a good budget. I think we're very fortunate to have what we have right here in front of us. Mr. Stevenson. 
Lesen. Well, yeah, I'm just going to remind everyone, you know, that the, the people who are actually going to be paying this raise in taxes, I know we've lowered the millage rate, but let's be realistic, people are going to pay more this year than they paid last year, and the people that are having to pay this are the ones that got hurt the most through COVID. They're the ones that truly lost money, your business owners and your working class, uh, they're the ones that lost, and now their taxes are going to go higher, so... That's been my thing the whole time. It's just I, I think it was just the business community and they hurt bad. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Would anybody else like to add anything else? I know it's everyone's goal to reduce taxes. I know my name is on a fixed income and she's not going to be happy. So, uh, do I have a motion? I would make a motion that we do not disappoint you now. <laughs> I will also make a motion that we approve resolution 2020-19. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Motion passes 4 to 1. Which brings us to tab 2 which is approval of resolution 2020 20 to approve the tentative budget for fiscal year 2021. Uh, Mr. I'll go ahead and ask our finance director to read this companion ordinance um, on the budget side of the millage rate. Um, do you want to go ahead and read it? Sure. Thank you. Resolution 2020-20, a resolution... Oops, so, hold on one second. I need to have the clerk read the reso in the record, and then you can do that. I'm sorry. Clerk Nancy, go ahead and read it in the record. <laughs> resolution 2020-20, a resolution adopting the final budget for the City of Tavares Board for the fiscal year 2020-2021. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Tavares, Florida, whereas a public hearing on the tentative 2019-2020 budget was held, that should be 2020-2021, I think that's a typo, uh, budget was held at the Tavares City Hall Council Chambers in the City of Tavares, Florida, Lake County, Florida, on Thursday, September 3rd, 2020, at 5.05 p.m. as required by Florida Statute 200.065, and whereas the general public was given an opportunity to express its views pertaining to the tentative budget, and whereas the City Council approved the tentative budget for 2020-2021, and whereas a second public hearing on the proposed 2020-2021 budget was held in the Council Chambers at the Tavares City Hall, 201 East Main Street, in the city of Tavares, Florida, on Wednesday, September 16, 2020, at 5.05 p.m. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the budget for 2020-2021 fiscal year for the city of Tavares, Florida, is hereby adopted by the Tavares City Council in the amount of $55,552,000 $953 at public hearing on the 16th day of September 2020. This resolution will take effect immediately upon its adoption. Thank you, Susie. Lori, go ahead and give the highlights of this one, and then we'll bring it back to uh, the mayor. Thank you. Mayor, all highlights for this resolution, 2020-20 are all the same as previously read into the record for setting the middle grade. Would you like me to restate these on the record? No, ma'am. Thank you. All right. And I do have one request for the audience to speak. Uh, Ms. Ortega, can you please come forward and see your name and address? And you have three minutes. that I would love to have not only the Tavares Police Department but the Fire Department um, 
given extra funds for them to be able to do their jobs appropriately. I know that um, in looking at the website, it says there's 27 police officers, and I'm very happy to hear the two more positions, in addition to the fire department having one addition uh, position. But I feel that for a for 18,000, um, 844, I think it is in total. I think it's not enough, and I don't want the community um, to be under um, an understanding that, that there's not enough police to cover with, with the things that are happening in, in all of our communities. Because I know in my personal uh, community, in the groups of Beatry, there's a lot of things that are happening. And I, um, in the last meeting that I attended, um, there was another uh, individual that was very upset because there are people that are breaking into her houses to gain access to the pool. Um, she said she's called the police numerous of times. So I also have my own issues that you are well aware of. So I am thinking that perhaps there needs to be a, a, an increase in fines, perhaps not only um, with uh, the zoning, you know, that I think it's $80 right now for a permit, but increase that and increase certain things so that you can have uh, more funds in order to fully give the police department what they need and the fire department that we depend on so greatly. So it's a combination of it, and I'm here just to advocate for them today. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Virginia. Appreciate it. Is there anyone else from the audience you'd like to speak? Seeing no one else, I'm going to close public input. Kathy, do you have any questions or comments on chat two? I just wanted to make a, a note because on here it talks about the employee raises at 2%, but the city administrator was not included in that 2%. So I think we need to recognize that. Uh, Mr. Like I said, I'm you know, very happy with the budget. Um, the only thing I would love to see a little bit more money try to be put into the uh, road repaving. I know that that's uh, possibly come back up in April. Uh, but other than that, um, I think we've done a good job. All the highlights that we get. I think we've uh, got a good budget here. Thank you, Mr. Singh. Uh, any other council members want to comment or ask questions? And just so Ms. Ortega is aware, I believe the body cams are part of this year's budget already. So that is something additional we're funding, or besides adding uh, positions. I um, see no further comments or questions from council. Well, Mr. Stevenson would like to add something. Ms. Ortega, it's nice to hear your comments, ma'am. We do recognize the fact that you've been here before. You notice that Chief Keith is looking away. Chief Lubins is hidden by a mask. They're both laughing right now when you're saying, like, give them more and more and more money. <laughs> They're going to have to take that up with Mr. Drury. <laughs> uh, any other questions or comments? Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we uh, approve uh, option one. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Motion carries four to one. Which, there being no further business and no need for reports, we just did the next day. Uh, this meeting is adjourned.